Okay, so we're back for the third video in this series. If you're just joining us, um, my name is Jason. I'm a software engineer at Microsoft, and I'm going through all of my very important resumes, the one that got me my first software job, the one that got me into Microsoft as a full-time, and my current one after all of my learnings over six internships. Uh, so if you're listening to Tech Intern, guys, I would really appreciate if you subscribe and like if you get any value out of this video. If you don't, that's fine, shoot me a message, tell me what you wanna hear, and I would love to talk about it, I'd love to help you out. And we're also gonna be doing resume critique giveaways, so um, I believe there's one going on right now. Please go to the channel, find the video, subscribe to the channel, like the video, you'll be entered in an opportunity to actually get a resume critique from me. We'll talk about how we can optimize your resume for the job that you are looking for. Now, let's jump into it. So I went through my first one, I went through the one that got me into Microsoft. We're gonna look at my current one and kind of compare it to the last one. So I redacted a lot of the numbers from this resume just because I didn't want to release some stats or something that I wasn't supposed to, um, but all of the numbers are actually in my real resume. Uh, so I will try to fit both of them here. Okay, so off the bat, before anything, this one utilizes space better than any of them. You'll see that there's a little bit of color splashed in there. All of the icons from the companies I worked at are there. All my contact information has little icons too. It kind of makes it a little colorful, makes it pop a little bit without being overly done. Um, so let's jump into it. You'll see my experience here. My team develops in C Sharp. I talk about exactly what it is. Cloud service responsible. Very first point off the bat, develop a feature that does this, this is the impact. Very first one off the bat, tell them exactly the impact I had at the company. That's great. Integrated and maintain several cloud Azure resources. I wanna tell them that I know exactly how Azure Cloud works. I've been working with it for a long time, so that's great. Constantly taking ownership of new areas of code and being accountable for their failures. This is important. Sometimes we get very wrapped up in the technical components, but just being a team player and being accountable is something that employers value so much. So I, I actually really like this point. And you'll notice, you're starting to notice that I bold things I want people to see. Now the average person looks at your resume for six seconds. So if I bold and show them exactly what I want them to see, that's gonna increase the odds that I get the, the call back. So I want them to see that number, I want them to see I'm accountable, um, and as you go down, you'll see more of those. You want them to see the number of customers, how many users, customer obsessed mindset, blah, blah, blah. You'll see those throughout the entire resume. Let's go to the next one, full stack development, developer intern. Now, if you watched the last video, you'll see I had two jobs at Toast. And here I've squashed them into one just to save space. And you know what? I looked at some of the projects and said, both of these are kind of just designing REST APIs. I don't need to have them in two different points in two different jobs. It takes up so, so much space. So I threw a two in there to show I did two of them. And I talked about the REST API stuff. Um, some people might not like this, but honestly, it saves so much space. It allows me to talk about stuff that I would rather them look at. Developed a REST API for managing user reward data and how many custom, customers it impacted. Yeah, that's pretty good. You know, I want to tell them I know REST API. I developed this entire thing. This is the impact. Again, right off the bat with the impact. I'm not telling them, you know, all the technologies I worked on first. I want them to know how I affected that company. It's more important to me than them knowing that I know Java, for example. Design a system to store and use sensitive credit card data using Java Play and AngularJS. The top point was from the second internship. The bottom point was from the first internship. See how I squash them together and just talk about them all in one. It saves me a lot of space. Front end, develop, uh, front end developer intern at Yahoo Mail. I wrote and maintained Redux and React on a product with an estimated 200 million users. That's true. Yahoo Mail actually has 200 million estimated users. I put that in there to remind them just the breadth of the company, the breadth of the product that I worked on how many customers I actually interacted with and I actually affected their lives and had code run for them. Uh, that's important for me to, to show, especially if you wanna get into a company like Microsoft. So created a recent suggestions, recent searches feature that touched this many percent of users. This is something I talked about in my last video. I got way too wordy with it. This time I didn't get wordy with it. I told them exactly what it is. 
they can infer what it is uh, and how it works from just the context. Collaborated with UX designers and product managers with a customer obsessed mindset. Again, not everything's technical. Customer obsessed is important when you're working on a product. So I'm customer obsessed. I have examples. If they asked me about this in, a, in my interview, I have examples where I can say, yeah, this was a time where I said no. I stood up, I put my foot down and said, this is not right for the customer. That's great. I put it in there and I bolded it. Then we're down to projects. Of course, I talk about the Tech Intern podcast because that's something that I started six months ago. Uh, it grew fairly quickly and that is why we are doing this YouTube channel. Um, and it's not technical at all, but it shows again the impact that I'm having. I'm trying to help people. I'm going above and beyond to uh, do things in my spare time. And then of course we talk about Lead Party. Lead Party is uh, an application if you haven't heard. Um, we actually use it in a few of the videos. But Leap Party is an application where you can leak code against your friends, kind of compete against each other, see who can solve with a better runtime, better memory usage. And you can also view each other's solutions so that you can learn together. Uh, it's actually a pretty good resource for studying. It keeps me motivated at least because I can get pretty bored with leak code. So here I talk about the number of users. I talk about, um, you know, the, the technologies I used. Uh, I kind of talk about the fact that I envisioned the product. The reason I do that, again, I want people to understand that I kind of take initiative. In the last two resumes, you'll see I talked about how I took initiative. I'll say that very explicitly. Now I don't want to say that. Now I'm just saying, hey, look, I created this thing out of my own like idea. It was an idea and then I put it down and it's got real users. I want them to kind of infer that I'm taking initiative to develop products because that might be useful for a startup, for example. Last resume, my uh, education was four bullet points. This time, it's not even one. It's just one line. University of Waterloo, this is the degree I got with distinction, six internships. There you go, done, move on. Last but not least, I put uh, languages separate from programming languages on here, not because I think it's going to help me get a job, but mostly because um, I actually study French in my spare time because, you know, it's something I want to learn. Right now I'm learning sp Spanish in my spare time, so it just kind of tells them a little bit more about me, um, and it could come up in, a, in an interview. Again, I separated the programming languages from the technologies. That's something I talked about in the last video. Check it out. And yeah, this is the difference between my resume now and my resume that got me into Microsoft and my very first software engineering resume. You'll see the progression from all the failures I had. I've learned, I've become better. I wanna help bring that same learning to you. I don't want you to have to make all the same mistakes as I did. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Please like if you got any value out of it. Please subscribe if you wanna hear more content like this. And if you wanna learn about resume critique giveaways, I can help turn your resume from the bad ones I had into something more like this. So thank you guys so much. I cannot wait to see you in the next video.